What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are back on the Tick series. We got one very big thing to attempt here, and uh, looks like we actually got our star spawn leveled up a little bit. So we do have some gems coming our way this week, which is kind of cool because, well, even though we only have like 120 heroic trolls, we're going to be getting like 700 for free, so maybe we get some rewards. We don't need things like sublimation or anything like that. We need stellar shards. If we can get more and more stellar shards, that will be amazing. Now, we need to make sure this hero is set and oh, excuse me, and ready to go for some fun in death. Now, Unbending Will versus Balance Strike. I don't think Balance Strike is going to actually do that much for us. We also have, what, one core. Maybe, maybe we get lucky. If we get lucky, that would be absolutely amazing. Of course not. I used my luck up all on my first ever free-to-play account. But, hey, it's still another point that we can invest into him. We'll get it into the attack node mainly. And, yeah, we'll just keep upgrading this as the time goes on. Fingers crossed, though, we can get some good Stellar Shard rewards at Anniversary. So, let's see how far we can take it with the Melodic Strings. Now, the Melodic Strings is nice because... Uh, we will have over 100% crit chance so long as we are running our crit crit attack stone, which should not be a problem. And yeah, we still don't have a skin. Halloween limited skin. I don't think there's any way for us to get a festival skin. We don't have like vouchers. We don't have any of that. Let's check our monthlies real quick. We still have a few more things we need to grind out. Our fusions we definitely need to grind out. Broken spaces. Uh, I think we were kind of capped out on this. Oh, we actually got a clear. Cool. Brave Trial is already done. We're waiting until next month to use our resources. So not too bad. We are chilling at 38 relics. That's that's nothing great. <laughs> that's nothing great at all. But hey, uh, we kind of have what we need, at least for the time being. Let's just check our guild settlement real quick. Uh, we can't do the ranger. Working on the mage. Guild tech is capped out, essentially. Still working on that anti-twine tech. <sighs> I think we're good to go and we kind of have a better idea of where we need to use our demon potions now as well so he also has more levels 10 more levels than last time and we're getting closer of course to letting him go onto our cloud island and become a resident or homeowner only three demon potions is really really gonna suck especially when we're going against waves like this because we need a round to active before the enemy goes if we don't get that, we're probably going to be into some trouble. Um, we actually will buy all these PvP tickets because anytime you're on a new account, you're going to want to grind a lot of PvP for some rewards because that is going to be a really great boost to your overall progress. So make sure you guys are coming in here and purchasing all of these out. The other things besides coins and PvP tickets, not really something you need to focus on whatsoever. So... <sighs> yeah, he does have melodic strings. So that does mean round one. He is going to get an active last time. We get to 13, but we started in hell. Uh, we actually had more demon potions left over than we do now, which kind of sucks. But uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Luckily, we can gain a bunch of energy here. Let's try if we exit and come back in, see if the energy kind of resets. Uh, that is a Oberon wave. So we definitely need energy to kill him off. I don't know if the basic hits Oberon. Basic hit, hits Oberon, we're good. These type of situations, again, two basic attacks are going to give him more than 100 energy, which is perfect. Let's see if we can try to save it. I don't know if our baby ticks can do anything. Our baby ticks with Giant Killer can actually put some work in. So maybe we can use him as... Uh, okay, we can kind of use an E3 ticks, like, and then we can save the energy. And that's kind of the whole point is to save energy for Penny, ticks, and Oberon. Or no, Penny, Amon Ra... And Oberon waves. That's what we really need to save it for. And we got to hope to get some energy off of these. But we're going to one tap a lot of these waves now. So that's perfect. Getting two uh, single target battles in a row. Because that means we can farm the energy up. And then I kind of want to see if this ticks can do it. I kind of feel like he might be able to with a round two active. E3 ticks giant killer just crushing it we will send our normal ticks in because yeah I mean Asmodels can be dangerous here uh this should be a one shot yep so let's hopefully get another solo wave eh, might as well reset our energy right 
no point keeping that energy it might be easier finding a duo wave in order to grind it up so we're already past of course a solo wave again please give me another solo give me like an aspen solo aspen double she i don't like that um but we'll clear it out one of these days we'll get our energy back and we'll be able to save it oh man this is a tricky one Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm actually going to use our regular ticks here, our E3 one, as a sacrificial pawn. I want to see where his attack goes on this wave. It does go for the Amon Ra. Okay, that's really good. That's good because that means our ticks is safe to go into Amon Ra duo waves without energy because he should be able to just one tap each one of them. Perfect. So it is sad that we can't now juggle energy, but it's kind of very important to understand which waves that we don't need to worry about needing a demon potion. We can go in with basic attacks and just kill the target that we are the most afraid of. So it might take a few times going into this to see like this right here. I think I'm gonna save a demon potion. I'm hoping it hits Oberon. It does. So again, if it hits Oberon, perfectly fine going in with zero energy. So it's just a lot of people that struggle getting through death. A lot of it is just figuring out how your hero interacts with the enemy team with their basic and their active abilities. So we kind of learned something important today that we will target that Amon Ra because that's really, really important. Getting that Amon Ra, down, Amon Ra down and out. The DA wave going in with 50 energy again, we know is really great because we will come out with an active. And then now, of course, we are going to have to waste energy because we did get rid of our lower tier ticks for information. We will not get energy there. I thought we had a chance maybe. Uh, solo Oberon, I think we can one tap. Perfect, we get energy off of that. So you guys can see, Tix is a, a game of knowing what you need to go up against an opponent because even though he does have Giant Killer, he has a Splendid Melodic Strings, you could easily have your hero die. Like we, we had it happen on the last run with that Amon Ra. So you really have to be careful about knowing what your hero can handle and how they handle it. And in reality, ticks, there's only two to three heroes you really have to worry about. Of course, one of them, the Twine from Oberon. Amon Ra's shields are gonna completely shut down Tix's damage. And then pennies reflect armor. You have to kill the penny before they get a basic attack off. Waves like this shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I mean, we take some damage, but not that big of a deal. Doing some crazy big damage numbers too. This could be a bad wave. We could die here. We actually could. We'll see if we can one-tap Sigmunds. Okay, we can one-tap, so it's fine. We're good. Uh, Sigmund is one wave that once they get their actives running and all that armor reduction, like, they can shred your hero like tissue paper. Like, it's a wet paper bag just going right through it. But thankfully, this Tix can deal with these Oberons so, so easily. This could be a good run because we've already faced all but like two of the waves that I'm kind of afraid of. And those two waves have pennies in them. I think every other wave we know the answer is just making sure we have energy to deal with them. This one we can go in without energy or rather with 50 energy. Because we're going to get a basic off giving us full energy. The Amonara is going to put a curse on us, not the bubble. So yeah, we can clear it out just fine. We don't have healing, so we don't have to worry about that curse mark kind of really wrecking us completely. And all these should be perfectly easy clears right here. Uh, even this, we're going to have to waste our energy, of course, because basic only hits one target. It is what it is. It's a hard hitting basic. I don't think the Aspen wave is going to be a big deal either. Yep, there we go. If we had zero, cool. Have we fought this one with a basic attack? I'm still hoping it goes for the Amon Ra here. If it doesn't, we're dead. Oh God. Oh, the Amon Ra died. Okay, so we can do the Amon Ra Aspen wave as well. It just kind of works backwards where we kill the Aspen first. Now, if we don't kill the Aspen and we have to start with zero energy, we are screwed. But this is going pretty smooth instead of screwed again right here see we have we have enough energy already sitting here that we'll get an active in round two my goodness we do almost die and that would be a death through unbending will because asmodel has mark damage and mark damage can kill you through unbending will so oh no the Gru's not getting one tap now that sucks because we usually farm energy off that wave Instead, now we have to go around hoping something like that happens where we get two solo waves at a time, which is pretty, pretty sweet. 
Uh, we can probably start skipping some of these waves that we know are easy just so we don't drag this out too much since we're already sitting at like 10 minutes here, guys. I don't want to waste a lot of your time. I want to show you the interesting battles here and see where we're going to get because death 50, pretty doable. Yep, we got our checkpoint at death 50 and we can continue pushing on. Uh, we do have energy on this one, but the second you get to death 50, the enemies do become stronger. So we are going to have to watch every one of these battles to see if we are still one tapping the enemy. We are at least for Shia, but Shia is usually one of the weakest, lowest HP targets for single waves. We're gonna have to just now learn what he can do in this. Ooh, 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 ooh. So chances are we're only gonna get, like we're not gonna get crit by all of them and we might not have an active in round two. So this is where I'm tempted to just use a demon potion and clear out the wave. I kind of forgot about the quad Valkyrie waves. They're really dangerous, but we are one tapping all these solo waves. Oh no, oh no, we could totally die. Oh my God, the Asmodel is actually the wild card here. He becomes very sketchy for us. And they're starting to really hit hard because we don't have a ton of HP on this hero. Honestly, we might need to get to death 100 from the death 50 checkpoint with like a complete fresh rehash of potions. Let's see if we one tap the Amun-Ra. Even if we don't, it's fine because we'll get a second basic before she gets her bubble shield up. Uh, priests are not going to be any issue. Okay. We are are going to need a demon potion here because we would not have an active essentially our base would kill one target which means there's no way to get to 100 energy we have to burn another demon potion again at death 62 not great because again we have to kill the penny before she gets an attack off again now this is where we can test we only have one demon potion we really do need to save it uh, we can go in here and see if we one tap the penny usually i think penny is the one he does hit and he does. So the fact that he does hit Penny in round one. Oh, we do die to the mark from Ada. Ada puts a mark on you that when you do active abilities, it, the mark does damage and it will kill you through that shield. So we did get to 64 and it wasn't over on anyway. So that was a really tough one. But we should be able to get up to death 100 next time. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.